Okay, so here's Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. This collection is also available on the Sega Genesis, the Sega Saturn, and the original Sony PlayStation, but I don't have those versions, I have the Super Nintendo version, so that's the one we're going to look at. This is a compilation of five Williams Arcade classics including Defender, Defender 2, otherwise known as Stargate, Joust, Robotron 2084, and Sinistar. To tell you the truth though, I picked this one only because of Gels since it's my favorite of the bunch, but generally speaking, they're all solid games that are just as fun to play today as they were way back when. There isn't much to the overall presentation to Williams Arcade's greatest hits. You have the arcade headers on display in the game select screen and a pretty plain looking menu for each game, with options that you could tweak to your heart's content. For the most part, the games included on the pack look pretty good for SNES reproductions, and the sound quality is almost on par with the arcade originals, or at least close emulations of them anyway since... So they're the only ones that I could base a comparison on. They're not perfect conversions, though. Your ship destruction in both Defender and Defender 2 does come off as choppy and jarring, but for the most part, it's pretty close off. Defender and Defender 2 pretty much play similarly to each other. You have to destroy alien forces and prevent them from capturing all the colonists before they turn them all into mutants or something, and the planet ends up exploding for some reason. Since the Super Nintendo controller has a whole lot of buttons, all the various functions from the arcade games have been ported over without fail. Regardless of whether you play Defender or Defender 2, the latter has a little Stargate thing that you can warp to other parts of the stage, they're both pretty tough games and I'm absolutely miserable at both of them. Great games, not so much great skills. The amazing thing about this conversion of Joust is that every button on the Super Nintendo controller, save for the start and select buttons, is de a designated flap button, even the trigger buttons. And they all do the same thing, it's not different types of flapping, it's all the same flap. Why they did this, I don't know, but it's nice to have the option, right? Oh well. In any case, Joust is faithfully recreated in this compilation, the visuals and sounds are as close to arcade perfect as you could get on the Super Nintendo, and the gameplay is pretty much intact with all the bells and whistles that made Joust such a joy and pleasure to play. Robotron 2084, the epic battle between man and machine to save the disproportionately massive last human family. Seriously, how big is this family? Christ's sake. I was rather apprehensive about this one because I was so used to playing the Midway Arcade Treasures version on the original Xbox with the two analog sticks. But the Super Nintendo controls is a pretty solid substitute for the most part, with all four buttons used as your firing controls. It's not the most ideal setup, to be honest with you, but it works and it's still pretty playable and doesn't deter from the overall frantic difficulty and fun of Robotron. And lastly, we have Sinistar, a game where you mine asteroids for Cinnabombs to use against Sinistar. Personally, this is my least favorite of the bunch, as the controls tend to confound me every time I sit down and play, and as a result, I tend not to last long here. Not to say that it's a bad game, because it clearly isn't, it's just not my cup of tea and I'll probably stick with Joust instead. But once you really get into it, it can be a fun game to play. But again, not my cup of tea, I just suck at it. <laughs> I, I gotta be honest, you know. <laughs> Overall, Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits is a solidly decent compilation of classic arcade games that have been faithfully converted to the Super Nintendo format. Admittedly, I would have been happier if they had dumped one of the Defender games and replaced it with something entirely different, like Bubbles or something, just to vary up the compilation of it. But still, as it is, it's a pretty good collection of arcade classics and a worthwhile addition to your Super Nintendo library. And it doesn't cost a whole lot either, probably a couple bucks at most. So if you have a Super Nintendo laying around and you're, you're into classic arcade games, then Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits will certainly give you your penny's worth. Now if you'll excuse me, there's a barbecue party later tonight, and I have a pterodactyl to slay. Later. Oh, that's not good. I guess we're having chicken instead.